even as someone in charge of the world, making a healthier planet is no easy feat. On a macro scale, it is important to establish a global framework that would allow for sustainable development without too much economic destabilization. After all, some of the biggest companies in the world are dependent on fossil fuel burning. The sudden restriction or drastic reduction of that form of power could lead to disastrous consequences. As a result, a slower transition to more sustainable forms of energy would be the only reasonable path. Still, just because the larger changes take a while does not mean that the smaller ones must as well. As someone who grew up in New York City until I was 13 years old, I realize how difficult it is to see any tangible benefits to sustainable living in an urban setting. I believe that it is vital to establish environmental benefits for urban areas that can actually be used by its inhabitants in a more visibly impactful way. For example, small businesses can provide food waste to composting stations throughout a city in order to receive small reductions in waste tax rates. Those same stations can use the compost to create more affordable soil for farmers, providing an incentive for both urban and rural citizens. Even though I don't control the world today, I can still make a difference. I have already begun small with my community garden work and on-campus composting project, where I take food waste from my home and my school's cafeteria to make compost usable by the nonprofit I partner with. Sustainability is imperative to our survival as a species, and it is crucial that incentives are put in place for more people to do their part.